When looking at the 2017 gaming landscape, Nier Automata is one game that for me stands out from the pack. Now I know it's not a Final Fantasy title, nor is it strictly related to the Final Fantasy series aside from the fact it's published by Square Enix, but the original Nier is one of my favourite games of all time, and Lauren's as well. I therefore couldn't resist the opportunity to talk about it, and while I appreciate that some of you might not be too interested in this game, I'd implore you to at least watch this video to understand why I'm personally very excited for it. Who knows, by the end maybe I'll convince you to check it out. For some context here, Nier Automata was actually announced back at E3 2015 during the Square Enix press conference, among a slew of other announcements that included the Final Fantasy VII Remake and I Am Setsuna. It was the continuation that I don't think anyone actually expected to happen, because while the original game has become something of a cult classic, and in my opinion, is the definition of a hidden gem, its sales weren't stellar, and neither were its review scores. But it featured an incredible story with a memorable cast of characters, and the music, it just blows you away. Sure, it didn't have the best graphics or gameplay, and that kind of turned people off, but I didn't care. It just had so much creativity. Anyway, with Nier Automata now less than a week away, I thought it would be the perfect time to shine a light in its direction. My name is Daryl, and I'm going to take you through 8 reasons why you should be hyped for Nier Automata. Starting with Platinum Games. When it comes to polished gameplay, there are few companies that can hold a candle to Platinum Games, Japanese or otherwise. And if you played either Vanquish or Bayonetta, you'll know what I'm talking about. In truth, gameplay was one of the biggest concerns with the original game, and I often lamented the fact that while other areas of the game were of such high quality, that gameplay suffered. It wasn't anyone's fault in particular, Nier was essentially a budget title, and as such was outsourced under the supervision of key execs like Tarioko and Yosuke Saito to Kavia, a company who often worked on spin-off titles like Resident Evil Dead Aim or Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. And while their development track record contains big name franchises, the reality was that it was littered with subpar experiences and Nier was something of a swan song, even if it itself didn't review very well. Shortly after it was published, Caviar was disbanded and absorbed into AQ Interactive, another Japanese developer, which has since merged with Marvelous Entertainment. Anyway, going back to the original point, Platinum Games are a top tier development studio, and the fact that Square Enix has decided to outsource the game to them has me so hyped. What makes this even cooler is the fact that a lot of the developers of Platinum Game really respected the original Nier and understand the project. They were therefore happy to enhance the gameplay from the original as opposed to coming up with something new, bringing it up to the quality you'd expect from a Platinum Game's title while retaining its charm. In fact, Takahisa Tara, the game's designer, was actually preparing to approach Square Enix about the possibility of doing a Nier sequel when Square Enix approached them to work on the project, and his passion, along with that of Yasuki Saito and Taro Yoko, was what led the Platinum Games project to become Nier Automata. And for anyone who's played the demo so far, I think you will all agree that things are looking pretty good so far. Monaka and Emmy Evans are returning. Perhaps the most mind-blowing part of the original Nier was its soundtrack, and in a way, it kind of came out of nowhere. Kiichi Okabe, one of the principal composers within the Monaka unit, had been working as a video game composer since 1995, but he was primarily known for his work on the Tekken franchise, a rather different style to what we saw in Nier. The other members of the composition team, Kakeru Ishihama, Keigo Huashi, and Takafumi Nishimura, were also quite new to video game composition. But the combination of these four composers and Emmy Evans, the vocalist who worked on the soundtrack, created something rather special. And one of the things that helped was the non-language that Emmy Evans crafted. We had the privilege of interviewing her a few years ago and she told us about its creation. She said that she used her own knowledge of English, Japanese and French and upon receiving guidance from Makabe, supplemented it with prominent languages to create a unified language that these languages would have evolved into thousands of years in the future. And when you listen to songs like Song of the Ancients and Grandma, Evans's two favourite tracks from the soundtrack, these elements all come together to create unforgettable pieces of music. We haven't heard too much music from Nier Automata just yet, but the main theme, which was debuted at the Nier Music Concert and Talked Live, has already been very well received. Things are somewhat different this time around though, as Ishihama and Nishimura aren't working on the project. Instead, Kiniyuki Takahashi has joined Akabe and Hayoshi on composition duties, with Soyotaro Seo joining as an arranger. Janique Nicole and Nami Nakagawa have also joined as vocalists in addition to Emmy Evans. Taro Yoko. Everything about this guy just makes me smile because he's so adorable. Potentially insane, but adorable. His love for his work is apparent, and not just because he constantly wears around a full-on meal mask, he's also rather protective of his properties, and one particular example relates to the conception of Nier Automata itself. I mentioned earlier about how Platinum Games were already working on a concept for the sequel, so when Square Enix approached them, you'd have thought it would be a done deal. Instead, Yasuke Saito and Tarioko laid down some ground rules. One was that Tarioko would be the director, and two, 
was that he would have to be physically present to help with production, and he therefore moved from Tokyo to Osaka. Honestly, his take on video games is just fresh. He often uses dark themes, but has such strong focus on character development and emotional connections. It makes me very curious to see how he's going to toy with me this time around. Oh, and his recent video where he started saying shit Square Enix while he was meant to be promoting pre-order t-shirts just cracks me up, and I'm sure it did the same for you guys as well. Detailed side missions. Plenty of games have side missions, that's nothing special in itself, but Yosuke Saito has confirmed that Nier Automata will have the same detailed approach as the original, and this is definitely something that excites me. When speaking to DualShock as a Gamescom in 2016, Saito confirmed that there will be short side quests with standalone objectives that might ask you to do something simple like find an item, but there will also be longer side quests that have several chapters telling a much more detailed story. Saito also revealed that the side quest completion may be required to see the game's true ending. If these side quests are anything like the ones in Nier that manage to make me care about the inhabitants of the world, then I'm all for it. I mean, does anyone else remember the side quest relating to the old lady in the lighthouse? Kooky creativity! Anyone who's played the original Nier knows that the developers aren't afraid to push the boundaries when it comes to weird stuff and just general creativity. Not all of it pays off, but it's still commendable when they try. Looking back at the original, we can point at the Resident Evil styled house sequences, the text adventure section, and also the rather hardcore ending where depending on which option you choose, your save file will be deleted to highlight the significance of your choice. We don't quite know just how extreme Nier Automata will be, but Taro Yoko has said that they will be looking to find fresh approaches as opposed to retreading old paths. Two things we do know from the demo are that they aren't afraid to show buttholes, and that you're able to commit suicide by removing your OS chip. It even notes in the menu that removal means death. They aren't kidding around. Emil. Emil's story from the original game is one of courage and sacrifice, and I'm confident in saying that those who stuck around with the story all the way through will have been impacted by what happens. It was therefore pleasing to see that Emil will be returning for Nier Automata, if only in a cameo role. The character clearly means a lot to Taro Yoko, hence the mask he wears, and for me, Emil shows just how special the original title was. Here is a character who's very unorthodox. By the end, he's essentially a floating skull, yet his physical appearance means so little in terms of how you end up feeling about the character. At the moment, not much is known about Emil's role in the game. The only details revealed were that due to the sheer length of time that has passed between the two games, most of his memory has gone. Akihiko Yoshida is the main character designer. This one really caught me by surprise, but when they announced Akihiko Yoshida was working on the game as the main character designer, I couldn't help but get more excited. In my mind, this is pretty similar to the announcement of Platinum Games, as Yoshida has an awesome pedigree. For those not clued up, Yoshida made a name for himself by working on the Evil East games, such as Final Fantasy Tactics, Vagrant Story, and Final Fantasy XII. He has since moved on to work as the main character designer on the Bravely franchise, while also working as the lead artist and main character designer on Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Even if he has worked a significant amount of his professional career at Square and Square Enix, Yoshida actually left in 2013 to go freelance, becoming the company director of Side Designation in 2014. It was therefore quite exciting that Square Enix decided to commission him to work on a title that has no relation to Final Fantasy whatsoever, but I'm thankful either way. And with the announcement of Yoshida combined with that of Platinum Games and Kiichi Okabe, it creates something of a dream team. It's actually hard to believe that such a niche title has been backed in such a strong way, but here's where we are, and I am definitely not complaining about it. It will last more than 25 hours. For an action RPG, the original Nier had a decent length, with gamers on average finishing up the main story in around 20 hours. However, with Nier Automata, the developers believe that the experience will last a little while longer, suggesting it will take way more than 25. In the interview with Jewel Shockers that I referenced earlier in relation to side quests, Yosuke Saito stated that while they previously stated the game would last about 25 hours, upon reflection, he felt the game would last a lot longer than that. If the game manages to maintain the quality of the original Nier, or even manages to improve on it, then this can only be seen as a positive thing. I have no idea how long it will take to achieve the Platinum Trophy this time around, but with multiple endings to strive for, I'm pretty sure Nier Automata will provide plenty of bang for its buck. And that's the thing that perhaps excites me the most. We can talk about developers, creativity and story all day long, but I'm still very confident in the product that they will ultimately create. The original game had so much beauty, but it was pulled down by what Kotaku politely described by a thuggish exterior. I can only hope that Nier Automata helps to expose the amazing talent on the show to a much greater audience than the original was able to. How many of you guys are actually planning on picking up Nier Automata when it releases, and how many of you actually played the original? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to support our channel, please head over to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash FFUnion. These awesome folks have already done so, so why not join them?
Alright guys, this is Daryl signing out. I'm so excited for Neuro Automata and I hope you guys are too after watching this video. I'll see you next time.